Are we are in the buyer's market now in April 2022? But first, let's hit it! Hi, this is Alan Victoria. Welcome to our channel. And if this is your first time in our channel and you wanted to know everything about Greenville, Winterville, Pitt County, all the way to Raleigh, we are here. Subscribe to our channel and also get notified when we put a new video for you. Honestly, we get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you looking to upsize, downsize, downsize. move, get their first home, um, and you know, shift my favorite word. So if these are any of you, we are here. We're human beings. We love helping you. That is what we do every single day is we help people get into homes. If you want to get into a mansion or if you want to get into one of our $100,000 homes, we're here for you. Don't be shy. And if you don't know how the process works, we're here to walk you through it. But now let's hit into the fun stuff. Now for one year and a half, we are in the seller market. Now we're talking about are we are going to the buyer's market. Stay tuned with our channel because we wanted to walk you through some numbers and give you some statistic and provide information. Absolutely. So let's start talking about it. We had yearly growth. Price, prices have grown yearly, not just in North Carolina, but all over the country. So we're going to start with that, I believe. No? Yes. We're going to go to the ranking. Number one in ranking was Idaho that from last year, 2020, whole 2021 to February 2022, they went 30.42% growth. And number two is what? Arizona. Arizona. Arizona, 27.99% growth. So you guys have had crazy growth. And number three was Florida, 24.47. Doesn't shock, we're from Florida. <laughs> People are moving there all the time. Wait for a hurricane. Okay, number four, Tennessee, right? It's 22.47. Right, and then what's number five? And number five was Georgia with the 21.01% increase appreciation. That's and crazy. about our state, North Carolina, we are about what? 20.7. Uh, 20.7. Therefore, we are 20 -ish above the 20 -ish. So yeah, Therefore, we're still pretty high. Texas was 19.95 as, as an example. So we are higher than Texas in terms of growth, which is crazy. Therefore, if you bought a house, congratulations, yes. you had the equity in your house. Yes. But if you're not, we are at risk now with the some interest rate updates. And before he gets into interest rate, I just want to say with appreciation, our last video was all about appreciation. So getting into your home, honestly, homes were under appreciating for a while now. So the fact that they over appreciated for a while does not mean that there's going to be any sort of crash in the near future. Banks are doing their job and making sure people can afford their homes before they ever step in foot into it. So there is no, no shady deals going on. No one's saying we can just do a no docs mortgage. It can happen, but it's not, it's not, nothing in the system is there to break. So it is not the system, it's just supply and demand and inflation and appreciation. And these are things that are here long term. So you can be a daily stock trader and go crazy where you're buying stock and selling stock and all that fun stuff. That sounds overwhelming to me. You can just buy a regular stock, an e like an ETF, let it ride, and it's going to appreciate over time. Same is true with houses. You buy a house, you just let it be, and it appreciated over time. That's what we're talking about here. Now, anyway, let's go into those interest now, rates. From March 31st, the interest rate was 4.67, and April 7th went to 4.72. And the first quarter of this year, 2022, from January to April that we are talking about, the interest rate went up already 1.56%, which was unprecedented since April 2018. It might be unprecedented, but the truth is 5% interest rates are a norm, and they were a norm until we got into the, the COVID era of twos, but twos and threes are not norms, they're not stable. Fives show stability, and if they stay in the five, in the high fours and low fives, it's fine. And in fact, if you're afraid that it's going to change, now block in these rates because these are normal size rates. And the already Federal Reserve said that we have six hikes during whole 2022. Therefore, it's still we are looking at the interest rate that is might increase again in a month or two, and. Uh, for example, a 30-year loan, conforming loan with 
uh, percent down, they said is went from 4.8 percent to 4.9 percent. Okay, and the, the the scary number I see a lot of people throwing at our refinances have dropped 10 percent last week and 62 percent lower than 2019. But I want to say again, everybody already who had a house and they wanted to refi already refied at this point because they were get locking in those shoes. Um, and so now instead of five, people are like, "Nah, I'm good." So. And it is what it is. And because of the house appreciation, the price went up. The average loan a month in the U.S., the average was $453,000 uh, since the home price went up. And no, don't forget the rents are also going up. I've had a couple calls from a from a compartment community just this week to where these people have pay are paying about seven hundred dollars for their one bedroom, and now they're going to nine hundred and above. And they're saying, if I'm going to pay nine hundred, I should be buying a house or a, or a townhome or a condo. So I'm already getting calls because people, you know, not even the best situation, but if they can afford to be in a house, then they should be. And so, one of the main reasons of because the we had the freeze policy from the government during the COVID one year and a half. Therefore, now when you see the price of the rent, almost they charge you for two years, 2020, 2021, and then they increase your rent uh, uh, proportion to these two years Which that they means didn't do it. It's even more important to be in a house if you are not already in a house because it means stability. It gives you peace of mind. It gives you a, a place where you belong that nobody's going to kick you out of. And anyway, let's get back to your video. Therefore, uh, the meanwhile, the mortgage rent was going up, and also, as we said, the rent was going up. But once you lock into a mortgage, that's it. Whatever happens after that, as long as you are a fixed rate and not adjustable, it doesn't matter. So they, the Fed can do whatever they want in six months from now. And if you're in a home and you're good and the houses are appreciating, it doesn't matter. Your house is fixed. It doesn't change your payment. Therefore, generally, the price like sale right now is about six months that we still see the pending homes, which are the, under the contract, as you know, on existing home come about to four months. Therefore, now the main question is the supply, no? Yeah, still, it's the supply issue and a supply drama and why we have a lot of people, because those interest rates are also staying in their houses longer. So even if they wanted to move, they're like, no, nah, I'll just redo my kitchen or whatever because... They, Therefore, they low let's rate. just talk about the supply. No, Therefore, yes. we have the supply issue and about the new construction because mm -hmm. we have a resale home and also new construction. Right. And from the uh, January 2022 to February 2022, we had 1.9% decrease in the new construction. And the if you uh, if you compare it. Uh, because this why I'm saying February and we are not going to April because they didn't the government is still they didn't release it. This is the most uh, basically number. number that we have right now recent. But let's talk about and, new construction and these building materials. No? But in general, 2020 to February to 2021 basically is. We'll just ignore that. Yes, my phone is ringing. Therefore, it's it 2021 is 77 percent. Which is crazy. And, and then also, this is just is in general, if we're talking about concrete, concrete is up 7.8%. Um, drywall is up 20.7%. Lumber, lumber, 79.5%. Paint is even up 30.3%. What else is up? And basically, insulation, 17.8% went up. And the piping, you said the piping. No, I no? did not almost 36 percent went up which therefore, is crazy which is why new construction prices are increasing therefore, it's not average cost of the material for building went 30 average 31.3 percent up that now, you can say if you are a buyer and you are a serious buyer because you're saying you know what i just need to be in a home whatever happens to the world doesn't matter i need to be in my own little space in my own little plot this is actually good news for you because it means that the new listings have inched upwards in April, up 8% from a year ago. Um, so, but March 2022, we saw a slight decline. Yes. So in April, we have seen a little jump, which is great. Now is a good time. These inventory might start showing up because of the spring. Exactly. Therefore, Realtor.com basically said that we have in second week of the April 2022, we had already increased 8% of the listing. Because main point of this video is if we are shifting to the buyer's market, mm -hmm. no? Therefore, the, one of the most important thing is demand and supply. No, we said the supply is a little bit catching up because 
uh, we have 8% increase. And also remember that May, month of May is the peak of the listing. That's why? Not- because kids get out of school in June, typically May, June. And so you want to move in the summer. And so May is when those listings hit that you would be out of your house in June because it takes 30 days to move. So you'd be out of your house in June after school ends and into your new house. So it would be amazing time to move. And that's why May is always a big number. Therefore, we are hoping with the more basically coming the listing to the house, mm-hmm. we have we provide the listing. That's why I expect to sellers really come back to the airs at least a little bit from this hot market. Yeah. And also we seeing it frequently more. For example, in March, we just had two price reduction in Hoard Greenville, which now in the April, we had nine price price reduction. Which means it is slowly happening. So this, this like, we're just gonna change numbers and bidding wars and craziness is still here. It's still definitely happening, but it's calming, which is a nice sign. Therefore, with this dropping the price frequently, now also the expert in the Redfin, they believe that this also help to the markets, uh, fortunately goes toward uh, the buyer's market. Interesting that you went to Redfin because Redfin does not service our area and exactly. uh, we can talk about a different video on that one later. because we actually. And also, it. we have a couple more factors that helps it. Okay. One of them that the consumers, the buyers are not optimistic about the housing market according true. to what the Fannie Mae released in the new articles in April 2022. Let's be honest, buyers have gotten beat out. You've had to put in eight offers and you still don't win. And you go, I've just had enough. And, I, and, and, you, and you check out. And that is a completely normal feeling. But now is actually a time to check back in because let's be honest, the market is start, starting to shift in your favor a little bit. And also the mortgage it went up as we that said in the it. quarter 1.56 that's going to price out some of you as a buyer but i mean it's a normal number so don't freak out that it's too high we're back to normal numbers for those interest rates so if you're looking for a home it's a great time and also believing home buyers that price of home increases because of low inventory these all factors really help you to expect the market of the housing is cooling down a little bit a little bit what else we want to say um mortgage rates you said that about the fha thing that you want to yes. say yes what what was the recent fha that they said um the elevated loan purchase price the loan size and the steeper number dropped eight percent in applications for fha loans so that means that if you are one and why do people have fha Lower, lower, lower credit. credit. Yeah. So, or you know, it's their first time home buyer and they go into something they believe is safe. I've had this happen many times. They want to go into something where they have some safety measures. Um, applications are down. Yeah, applications are down. That means if the application is down, means the demand is not there already. But first time home buyers, this is specifically important for you because I'm telling you, those investors, they're not going away. They're going to continue buying and doing what they do because they have their own bottom lines to go. If you're a home buyer and you're looking at those interest rates and thinking 5% is too high for me, but it's really not. We're back to normal. But it also means that now you have a better shot because people are checking out. So if they're checking out and you haven't checked out and you have just weathered this storm, we can weather it together because you can definitely get this more shifting in your favor. So yay, things are starting to turn your way. And also, unfortunately, many of these uh, loan companies that they hired many people for giving mortgage to the people during the COVID, they are basically laying off. I mean, we've seen that in mass on like Zoom. Could you imagine those Zoom calls? I don't want to think about it. But anyway, mortgage <laughs> applications have dropped 3% um, in, in, the April. in April. Um, but it is still, if you're a first time home buyer, actually a good time for you because it's starting to go in your favor. I know you've been beaten and it's hard, but it is starting. So I hope this video, do you have anything else you want to say? No, I hope this video information that we provide helping you guys and hopefully we are shifting toward the buyer's market where so we you can, can help you more. You can help you more. And also you have the time to think about different finances, your family situation and what, where you want it to exactly be instead of being forced to a, 
to go a specific area or a places. Right. And I mean, at the end of the day, why do people buy homes? Because it's the time in their life, not because of interest rates or whatever somebody says on YouTube. It is because of what is going on in your it's life your, right yeah. now. So it is because of you and what you want and for your family and your future. And that is why we make these videos and we hope they were helpful for you. And I hope you have a wonderful yeah. day and see you next week. And thank you for watching our YouTube and following us. Bye, have bye. a wonderful day. Bye. bye.